Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to take apart a sleep number bed. So the first thing you're gonna do is inflate both sides to 100. Yeah, make sure both sides are inflated to 100%. Now you're gonna need some towels, and you're gonna need the caps for the uh, air hoses. Now there is an air pump on this side. Sometimes they put this bag by that air pump. But if not, you're supposed to be able to get these from the manufacturer. Okay, so right here in the middle, there's an air hose. The, this is just a really strong magnet. So you're gonna lift that magnet up and then put a towel there so it's not able to reattach itself. So the way you disconnect that air hose, you're gonna press this button. Pressing that button, it's gonna release it. Now, as soon as you release it, have that cap ready because a whole bunch of air started gushing out. So then you're gonna put that cap on the part that goes to the bed. Okay, so once all the magnets are disconnected, just get buy one of these bags. This is a king size bag. They're like 40 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link in the show description notes, but we're gonna zip this bag up over this and be able to move it. Okay, so once you've got the bag on it, it zips up around it. We've got these nice handles. We can grab it, it and it slides really easy now since it's in this bag. Okay, so here's what the frame looks like now. I'm not exactly sure, but we're gonna figure out how to move this frame. The headboard's not attached. That's the headboard that we had from our old bed. So this is just the sleep number frame. And again, those are really strong magnets. I don't think they were using these magnets, but they were using this one, that one, and those two and around. Okay, so we just tilted the bed frame up. I cannot figure out how, I mean, I'm gonna show you how, you know, you've gotta take these things off to take the sides off. I mean, it looks like it's two separate pieces, but here's what the underside of the sleep number bed, here's the mo here's the pump that I was telling you about. It's got one pump for both sides. We only had the one that moved the head. So here's what the motor, this is like a control panel. There's the hoses. And again, there's what the motor looks like. Part number. Now to adjust, I'm gonna show you. So. I told you if it's not set up right, you've got each one of these legs has this little pin and you got to push it and you can adjust it. This we had it at its lowest setting and getting each one of those legs adjusted was a really challenge. So when they set up your sleep number bed, make sure you've got it at the right height before they leave. Otherwise, this can be a real challenge for setting the height of your bed. And this is this is actually really heavy. So we're just going to scoot it into another room so that we can set up our Tempur-Pedic bed. Today I'm gonna to do a review and show you the mistakes we made when we bought a sleep number bed. So the first thing about a sleep number bed, now I know this bed is very nice for a lot of people, but for us, it just wasn't very comfortable because the first thing we noticed is when we when we sit in it, it just feels like an air mattress. Now we did get the, the more expensive one, which adds more foam between you and the air mattress inside, but it still just feels like an air mattress. Now, what they told us in the store was we could return this, which is true. You can return the, the bed, and what they call the bed is the top part, but you're not able to return the frame, and you need a frame to go along with the bed. So it was a little deceiving to us thinking we could return the bed when actually all you can return is this part, but the frame is not returnable, so you're stuck with the frame. And as you can see, so with the sleep number, it's got tubings, and stuff so you need the frame to go with the bed and that's a little disappointing to us not being able to return the frame i don't think we would have bought the bed knowing we couldn't return the frame so the next thing is there's a air pump in here and the pump is over here on this side of the bed underneath here and there's only one pump so when either person inflates their side that pump comes on it in the middle of the night and it is kind of loud it did take four weeks for this to be delivered. And you have to sleep, you have to use it for 30 days before you can return it. So you're not able to return it until you've had it for 30 days. And then once you decide to return it, um, it did take two weeks for them to come pick it up. Now, the next thing was the sheets are available at other places. We were told that you could only buy sheets from Sleep Number. And then also when they come set the bed up, the height of the bed is very important. 
and it was set up pretty high and to change the height of this bed was very complicated i had to get a jack go underneath the bed and loosen up both a bunch of these not loosen up but adjust a bunch of legs so when they're setting up the bed make sure you get the height of the bed exactly where you want it and when you buy a sleep number bed you're going to sign a bunch of things on the contract and one of the lines on the contract is that you cannot return the frame so we did sign a contract but we were just under the impression because i asked the person several times can we return the bed yes you can return the bed but you're going to sign a thing that says the frame and if you got a headboard is not returnable okay so we did end up replacing the sleep number with this tempur-pedic hybrid they just came out with it this is the medium firmness Lux breeze now it is cool to the touch when you put sheets on it, it does stay cool for a while, but about two or three in the morning, you do get a little hot in it, but we're very happy with how comfortable it is. We're sleeping a lot better on it, and it's just a really nice bed. Plus, I don't need any special frame for it. It can just sit on my standard bed frame. And when we purchased it, we did not sign any lengthy contracts. We simply purchased it. The guy said we can bring it back if we don't like it. He'll even try us. They do sell a firm and a soft. So if we don't like this, we can just exchange it and get a firm or a soft. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.